Christ, you killed him, man. He asked for it. He kept calling me a big. No way. Access granted. Fuckers are lying to us like that. Just like Zeke said. I hope Zeke knows what he's doing. Me too, man. Me too. Come out! You high again? Step away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. 
We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're going to have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Lantern! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. Shit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? 
I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You just think that taking a hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. Sorry, but I got no choice. I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the Gulf. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. I know that. The question is, do they? The cause is blowing up all around me. My brother's at risk. All because of what that traitor did to us tonight. I've got to fix it, but I can't when I'm stuck in here with you. Is your whole family this stupid? The workers being here tonight was part of the hacker's plan. He was counting on you using a hostage, so you'd get yourself killed and tie up a loose end. You're stumbling right into another of his traps. No, I'm not. He... He... God! I almost fell for it again! No way, man. He's not suckering me twice in one night. Get lost, chica. Before you get me killed. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna... Any sign of him? Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. So I couldn't save him. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. I do. But things don't always go according to plan, Malik. I did what I could. I... I'm sure you did. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in.
New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I think people should stop asking me so many questions. Hey, I was just... Ever since I walked in tonight, people have been staring, gossiping about whether or not I'm ready for this. Your recovery was remarkably quick, Jensen. Most people need at least a year to get used to new limbs. So maybe I'm a fast healer. Or maybe I'd rather damn myself to hell than let what happened to me stop me from doing my job. Your job? Really? Because we both know that's not why you came back in here today, Jensen. Look, I want to find the bastards who did this as much as you do. So if I could help you in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the Intellicams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find them, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like I don't buy for a second he was with purity first. I think someone slipped him. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. 
I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. David and you, Darrow? Hell if I know. What did Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about? Trying to convince him to come out of hiding. They spin the news like anyone else. I'm telling you, Hugh. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown get her to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking letting him slip away like that I sent you in there to take care of things You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why, so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker. In Sanders' group? You're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You've still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it.
Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I do what I have to do, augmented or not. You seem very pragmatic, Adam. Maybe you should be careful not to trivialize such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same. Adam, and we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. 